Okay, so now, now you're very comfortable uh, breaking vectors into their components. Let's use that here so that we can find the resultant, right? Find the resultant means just to add vectors together. Uh, but you can't just add, can't just say 100 plus 80 equals 180. No, y'all are smarter than that, right? You know that we need to break this 100 into its two components right here, right? It's X component and it's Y component. We need to break this uh, 80 into its two components, its Y component, its X component, and then we can add these two X components together. We can add these two Y components together to get the resultant. Okay, so uh, let's maybe start with this blue and let's break this into its components. This component would be 100 cosine 30. This component would be 100 sine 30. Do, you, do we want to write that in as vectors? I tend to just kind of keep my X separate from my Y, uh, but we could write this as 100 cosine 30 in the I, positive, and positive 100 sine 30 in the J, and I would even go further, say 86.6 in the I, uh, 50 in the J. All right, that's that uh, blue A vector. Now this uh, green B vector. So let's see, this would be 80 cosine 15. That would be the J component. 80 cosine 15 would be J and 80 uh, sine 15 would be I, right? 20.7 in the I plus 77.3 in the J. All right, so let's add them together. Add them together. We just take the I components, add them together. 80 plus 20.7 would be 107.3 in the I. 50 plus 77.3 would be 127.3 in the J. The units are pounds. Um, and so there we go. That is the resultant uh, written in Cartesian notation. So in Cartesian notation means give me an I and a J component. Uh, but we could, uh, we could specify the resultant as the magnitude of this vector right here. So what is this vector right here? It is uh, 107.3 in the I. It is 127.3 in the J. So what is the magnitude of that? Well, A squared plus B squared. Take the square root. Let's, the, the magnitude would be 107.3 squared, 127.3 squared. Take the square root. The magnitude would be 166 pounds and the angle so so we'll say okay what's the magnitude of direction let me define the direction from horizontal and so i would just use what trig uh a property tangent right tangent of theta 127.3 over 107.3 right because uh tangent is opposite over adjacent of this angle right here. So 127.3 divided by 107.3 and then do you know inverse tangent in my calculator to get theta, that angle, is 50 degrees. Does that kind of make sense? If that is more than that, then this is going to be larger than 45 degrees, right? Right? Uh, and so, so here's another way to write this 166 pounds at 50 degrees. And so that, sh that arrow shows me that I'm defining 50 degrees from the horizontal axis in the positive direction. Okay? So if you see vectors that need to be added together, break them into their components, and then add the components. And then if you need to, at the end, then you can find, you can bring them back together to get one magnitude. Uh, but you see that 166 is not 100 plus 80. Those directions matter. Those directions matter.